Hello, this is a Raspberry Pi um, question that came in from, I uh, have your name here, Escobar Palafox, I'm hoping, actually Dr. Escobar Palafox, I hope I'm uh, pronouncing that name correctly, uh, and he was asking if I've had any luck connecting Bluetooth to the Raspberry Pi, and the short answer to that is no, no I haven't. So I spent three hours today <laughs> trying to get it to work. It was a good question. I thought, oh, it can't be that difficult, can it? Or can it? Anyway, let's find out after the fade. I, I did the most obvious thing that I think anyone else would do. I went to the Bluetooth menu and I clicked on the add device and I then searched for the, the, the device, which is a, a Samsung um, a power bar, uh, not power bar, um, sound bar. Uh, selected that from the, the pull down menu, uh, clicked on pair, and once that it had uh, paired successfully, I then went to the, the audio device, uh, which is the little uh, speaker icon y thing, and right clicked it and then chose Samsung um, from there. And you can see in the, the bottom corner of the screen there that it, it does connect. It, it does actually do what it says in the tin, but no audio played. So <laughs> then I'm like, okay, well, maybe what I need to do is I need to go and up, update the OS. Um, and that's what I did. I, I went through the process of updating the OS. I've sped it up a little bit from, from here. Um, all the commands I'll, I'll list below. Uh, I reboot quite a few times during this. Uh, process. I, I don't think you need to. I think you could probably run all the commands in a one hour um, and then reboot uh, at the very end, but uh, it's just the way that I did it. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this update works or if it was the, the fact that I uninstalled and reinstalled the the um, uh, the uh, Pulse audio uh, I'm not entirely sure, um, but at the end of it, it works. So uh, your mileage, I think I said this later on, may vary. Um, but yeah, you can see there's a few things that I tried uh, in trying to get this to work. Uh, there's a couple of web pages out there that, that um, sort of gave me a, a helping hand-ish. They at least pointed me in the right direction. But to be honest, I, I think uninstalling the pulse drivers, reinstalling them and adding the Bluetooth module, that kind of worked. <laughs> um, but yeah, it kind of gets into here. So at this, at this stage, I'm, I'm trying everything. I'm trying to just update uh, the whole thing. Um, and I, I was getting fed up at this point. This has been really sped up. I spent about three hours on this this afternoon. Um, and as you'll see in just a second, things got really nasty <laughs> uh, because at this point I'm like okay I'm just uninstalling this pulse audio driver because it's not doing anything for me um, so I'm just gonna get rid of it and so that's what I did I, I ran purge on everything pulse audio uh, in an attempt to, to try and fix it yeah And I think at this point I kind of really broke it <laughs> um, because the audio menu has now been removed, which is not great. And now I don't know how to connect to the actual um, device because when you connect to it, it says it's not an audio. It says go and use the audio once. I'm like, all right, okay. So then I spend some ages and ages and ages faffing around trying to get the right one. Long story short, I added the wrong one but I'm not going to include that in here. I'm actually going to go jump straight to when I installed the correct drivers.
and here what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure it I, I found a, a lot of help I'll, I'll link um, all the, the places that helped uh, all the links to the, the, the web pages that helped here so this particular article uh, pointed out that um, what you need to do is you need to to run the system status find out if this SAP I don't know what it is this module thing this SAP module is being um, uh, active and if it is you need to turn it off and so it explains it goes through the steps of how to to remove it it's basically just a you nano edit a config file and then you um, save it and then reboot the, the machine so there's quite a lot of rebooting in this process I think you could probably do all of this in one you don't need to do all these reboots so yeah And down here, I'm just adding the, the no plugin SAP so it, it doesn't load it when you um, when the Raspberry Pi boots up. Uh, and it's just a simple config line change. Um, and then to write it out, you need to do Command O and then Command X to exit. And then obviously we need to do a reboot again because I've seen power right about rebooting the box. Sadly, I, I didn't get capture this, but uh, I also installed the Pulse Audio module Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth module, I guess, and then rebooted it. Uh, I will I'll include all the, the commands uh, below that I used. Um, your mileage may vary and hopefully it works for you. And because I removed the pulse audio, I had to remove, I had to re-add uh, the item. So once uh, I'd installed pulse audio, Bluetooth, and all that kind of stuff, went in there, added the um, the ALSA BT, I think it is, um, item, uh, and then that gave me that up there. I missed out <laughs> doing it the first time, which is why there's two there, because uh, I wanted to illustrate what I did. Um, yeah, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's why there's two though. Now that there's uh, the, the, item, the audio item up there, you can now connect to the Bluetooth and you can see that the, the speaker now says Raspberry Pi. And when we connect to it, um, it's it should all just work. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fire up um, YouTube and I'm going to um, play some audio, which is uh, the tra the channel to trailer, which sounds a lot like this. <laughs> So there you go, the Raspberry Pi, this is the 400 I'm using, uh, is not out of the box. It, it's got Bluetooth, but it's not really ready to play. You've got to do a bit of tweaking to get it to work, or at least I did anyway, and clearly other people have been having problems. There's a whole host, there's a whole raft of people who have been having problems on the forums, uh, and hopefully this video will, will uh, help that. I've left all the commands in the comments below. So if you're missing anything or you want to know where anything is, it's in the comments below. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm glad to be back making videos again. Sorry I've been away for a while, but uh, you probably noticed there's something up with my eye. Maybe I'll do an update video <laughs> about that. Everything's fine. It's all good. I can, you know, everything's, it's all good. Um, if you got this far, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, it really helps the channel out. And also, 
uh, as a special super bonus if you want uh, valuable notifications of when I send up a new video then or I post up a new video then uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell um, because two step is better than no step anyway thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video bye bye